As we continue to talk about the collapse of the Francis Kaki Bridge, we want to take a look back at its history. That's right. Miana Massey joins us live in studio with more. Miana. Well, Denise, Nikki, as we've been saying, it is hard to process a major landmark in thoroughfare. The Francis Scott Key Bridge is now gone. And so this past Sunday actually marked 47 years since its opening. March 23, 1977, Baltimore welcomed the Key Bridge, spanning across the Patapsico River, completing the eastern sector of I-695. The bridge was a key part of, you know, the skyline of our infrastructure. Um, it, it knits together the fabric of communities. Connecting Dundalk to Baltimore and Baltimore to the world. Construction on the 1.6-mile bridge started in 1972 to ease congestion throughout the city. Nicholas Redding, CEO and President of Preservation Maryland, says the estimated $110 million project filled a major void in transportation, shipping and infrastructure. They knew that there had to be a second crossing and initially they thought that they would build uh, a tunnel, um, but the, the reality was the tunnel was going to be too expensive uh, and this bridge would not only uh, be cheaper, but would allow them to move a lot of materials um, in a pretty heavily congested area. One of the longest truss bridges in the United States, named after Francis Scott Key, who was inspired to write the Star Spangled Banner after witnessing the bombardment of Fort McHenry in 1814. Because it's believed that Key was about 100 yards away, give or take, from the bridge itself when he was aboard ship and penned what would become. Uh, our Star Spangled Banner. Also nestled between Fort Carroll and its 47 years, the iconic bridge has undergone many changes. And perhaps the most notable, its expansion to the lanes leading up to it. There was expansion efforts to make sure that there were four lanes meeting it on either side. Um, so there have been upgrades, expansions done to this uh, facility uh, over the years. Aiding the nearly 31,000 people that MDTA says traveled the bridge each and every day and over 11 million a year. Sometimes we take things like this for granted and then when we lose them, um, you know, we, we really see the impact quite profoundly. The effort to rebuild it uh, is going to be equally historic um, because it's going to be uh, a big effort to not only do that, but to do it quickly, safely. And for now, the main priority for first responders is search and rescue. And as we know, the collapse of this bridge will have major impacts here in our area and across the country. And President Biden has already pledged the federal government support in rebuilding this bridge. Back to you, Nikki and Denise. Right, Miana, thank you. Thank you. Miana.